Hi guys, this is Oshi and this is gonna be an unboxing and first impression walkthrough of the new deck, well, new for me, the White Newman. I was waiting for this deck quite a long uh, time because I thought that it would be easier for me because I had no idea that this would be sold on Book Depository which would have been the easiest way to get it if I asked my friend in, who lives in the UK to you know, for me to ship it there and then she would ship it to me and that was all well and good uh, the deck arrived to her address rather quickly and then she sent it out um, within a few days but then <laughs> the Hungarian post decided to fuck around with the package <laughs> package for a while because why not and yeah it took me um, I think more about two weeks instead of just you know within a few days to arrive and ever since it's been raining and raining and it was dark and it was raining this morning as well but hopefully this light is enough because I honestly don't know when we'll have better and sunnier weather but I you know I can't wait any longer anyway if you wanted to watch a walkthrough by this time is going up you watch the hundred so I don't think uh, you know you, you missed us on anything by not watching mine <laughs> I mean let's just be honest um, so I only saw a few cards um, before I ordered it which is unusual for me except for the Little Prince uh, tarot I usually like to watch folk walkthroughs but because I like the style and the watercolor and the look I decided to get it and you know I wanted to keep the deck as a surprise and so I haven't watched anyone's walkthroughs yet I will do so after filming this one and unfortunately I ran into the High Priestess on Amazon when I was uh, looking for uh, images on some other deck and you know I just clicked because I didn't uh, think that there would be new ones since I ordered it and it was a surprise and I I, I guess I'd talk about it when we reach the High Priestess Visage not that long so this is the book this is my first uh, what is it called? Liminal, Liminal 11 deck so these have these interesting uh, ways of opening because the box opens at the bottom Ooh, it's a magnetic and it, it looks cool and I guess it's different so I mean bottom it depends on how you store your deck and whoops I had to ask my friend to check the cards because someone was uh, showing uh, uh, the deck on Facebook and some of the cards were really misaligned and you know if my deck would have been like that uh, I would have have to had to ship it back to the UK in order for something to happen so before you know going through all the shipping uh, whatnot oh there's this thing should I remove that or not I don't really know because now it's tight okay so there's a piece of cardboard cardboard oh the glue smell is quite <laughs> strong so this is a, a quite a sturdy insert that holds the uh, hard book guidebook which is really cool though I mean I could live without it but I, I mean I understand it keeps off uh, special feeling for the deck we'll check one card at the at the end so you know I don't know what I was talking, talking about but I think I was talking about you know how it would have been a ha hassle to uh, ship it back and then my friend ship it back to liminal blah 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 so I asked her to check it but she told me that there might have been some slight uh, misalignments but nothing as serious as it was shown on those pictures which is very lucky because uh, you know getting something like that fixed can be a nightmare okay so it's not white <laughs> interestingly even though it's a white movement uh, and it's because it has that this grainy oh interesting uh, texture 
I will have to watch walkthroughs to see if that's normal, but I'm assuming it is. Maybe it's a recycled paper or it's just a style. I have no idea, so uh, these are all information that I have to look up. Uh, it's um, glossy, which I don't mind because the colors pop from glossy finish. And it's interesting that the back feels like it was made with a different medium, like it was made uh, by hmm, pencil maybe? But anyway, so the full. So there's a, only a few cards that I've seen, so I'm quite curious if I bought a deck that I will like or not. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you need that surprise deck, at least that's what I think. There's a lot going on in the deck, um, symbology-wise, at least it looks like there's a lot going on. So I'm kind of looking forward to working with the guidebook and learning more about the cards. Right now I just, you know, go by the first impression if I like what I see. I like what I see on this one. Or I don't. Am I in... Yeah. I'm okay. I'm on screen. Interesting. The magician is kind of like the hobo type, which I kind of like and I like that he's older because just like with the high priestess, I... With the high priestess I don't necessarily need age because I can look at a high priestess as not entirely human, just like the magician to be honest, you know, when magic is conserving your body. But this this has more of like a, a pagany, you know, down to earth type of magician. But we have the pentacles. I'm assuming I I have no idea what the suits are in you know this deck so. Not sure if we have the symbology of those in the card. And so, the High Priestess. Oh, I should have said there's gonna be nudity in the deck. And to be honest, when I first saw her, I was like, why is she naked? I don't need her to be naked, because usually, yeah, that's true. <coughs> Even though I look more at the Empress as the sexual being, because it embodies a uh, fertile energy for me especially so sensuality is in that card but with the high priestess i kind of you know like i said at first i didn't like it and i don't really like the fact that way <laughs> she looks but <clears throat> then i remember that you know the high priestess is someone who has information about everyone around her who has access to parts of people's life that otherwise wouldn't be uh, you know easily accessible and sex is such a way in into people's lives so it kind of makes sense that it's highlighted in the card and i had to think back uh, what i learned originally about the card and part of it was sex and not the sensual love-making kind of sex but the that kind of sexual energy that you feel not, not purely for the physical but you know there's a difference and <coughs> I'm not saying that the high priestess is having sex for the sake of having sex because no it's information it's exchange it's energy exchange but with the empress on the other hand you would have it to actually create something in the 3D, if this makes any sense, but I hope it does. But yeah, so I'm kind of on board with her being naked. The Empress, and interestingly, uh, she doesn't look like, uh, you know, that ideal, uh, I'm gonna sit around and just take care of things, even though Mm. that's part of it what I like about the Empress but this Empress has the more of that fierce I can take care of my own within uh, not within in harsh conditions as well which is really cool so yeah I have absolutely no clue what the 
um, theme or you know where the sacred animal tarot part <laughs> is coming from because I was ignoring every spoiler so to speak okay emperor interesting I am I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the uh, the sword and what is that because it doesn't look like it's blood it's too dark for that but we have a raven oh <coughs> Okay, the Emperor is... Hmm, very interesting. It, it's kind of differing from the original um, meaning, but in a way keeping it. Hierophant, uh, which is very interesting. I'm not sure entirely if nudity is there to add to the card or just for the sake of signaling something I don't know lovers I kind of like that they have snakes the chariot <laughs> that's a good one strength the eyes are very interesting. I don't know if you can see the eyes of the tiger. <laughs> I have the tiger, yeah, I know. But but the facial expressions are kind of unusual for you know such cards because she looks like she's bitter, which is not something that I would you know expect on a strength card. Oh, the hermit. Oh, interesting. Oops. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, is she making a sacrifice? Because she kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Which would be interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, I need to, you know, read the guidebook, etc. 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 Justice. Hope you can see because my phone is reflecting, so I don't know how much reflection you guys get. Wow, that's a big sword. <laughs> the hangman. There's the hangman week on the Hermit's Cave Facebook group right now. And I don't know what. It's it's a is it a f human kind of creature? Just not really, right? I mean, the legs are too uh, birdy, and the skin color is too dark pink. Oh, death. Well, there's not a lot going on here. I mean. You have the traditional, you know, the horse, the uh, the flag, and the setting sun, but yeah, I can't wait to read the guidebook to see more. I hope there's something, you know, about the artwork and why it was chosen to be expressed like that. Temperance is making noodles. I saw the devil a few times. It's, I think this was one of the cards that was on display. And it's, it's so interesting. I mean, I find this one interesting because I don't know if this is the devil or it's someone who's under the influence of the devil. Oh, the tower is a person. Okay. That's not a not new. I think there I saw in some other decks, not only in mine, but in other uh, walkthroughs, people being the tower. I mean, oh, wait, no. The supernatural tarot has the sister of God 
as the tower but she's not the one the you know the energy is bringing down she is the one who can bring out down everything which is a perfect tower I'm not entirely sure what's going on here the star mm -hmm. to be honest I don't know <laughs> I mean she doesn't look like she's actively participating in the pouring back of the water she looks like she was tasked with it, you know, and she had to stay here and sit here and do this. The moon, well, if I say unusual moon, then you will know it is. So far this one is not, you know, it doesn't give me anything. So let's check, you know what, let's check the moon. Let's see. Ooh, I know some people screamed. So the keywords are Am I in screen? Yes. Subconscious melancholy delusion. Okay, I've usually worked with those as well. Though fear is there as well. The moon rises above the far mountains. Okay. I wouldn't call those mountains, but whatever. Dusk departs. Where's dusk? Oh, okay and the world shifts slowly from the conscious to the unconscious from a state of knowledge to one of intuition okay on the plain below under the ghost light of the sky two sacred foxes are pale as the moon are dancing to welcome the night uh -huh. does one leap as if to catch its prey or does it float eternally defying the rational and the logical interesting a threshold is crossed and now actions that are rich in improvisation and creativity take to the fore. Well, not entirely sure. What do you guys think about the moon? I mean, at least uh, the guidebook describes what's happening in the card, but it's interesting that they don't even uh, give you more, you know, how to read it. I mean, I don't care that much, but it's interesting. The sun. Okay, so f until now, <laughs> I'm not sure I didn't make a mistake by not watching a full walkthrough, to be honest. I absolutely love the art style. I really do. But Hmm. I don't know yet, you know, I have to work with the deck to know if it's going to be reading for me or not, because it's not the deck, uh, you know, that's not good or anything like that, because it's beautiful and it's been, you know, you can tell that it's been created with the care, but that doesn't automatically mean that we will be friends, though I had a deck like the Ostera Tarot was one that I wasn't sure, and now it's it, absolutely. I'm now I'm absolutely sure I'm going to keep it. I like the way that they are all trying to grab that opportunity. I like that one. So miners ones, two of ones. Okay, the three. There's not a lot extra going on snakes in the wands. Snakes were present quite often. Four of wands. It can be anything, you know, it can be romantic, it can be... But m I look at it, their faces and they m look more alike, so it could be like, you know, sisters or cousins or something, which is cool. The five. Mm-hmm. It's not unusual. The six. Yeah. The seven. <laughs> Two older guys. And 
interesting. Oh, okay, eight of ones are a bunch of snakes. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure that snakes as... I mean, I don't, you know, <coughs> think snakes are horrible. I don't. Uh, especially because there's a bunch of them and just because, you know, they poison if you accidentally go too near, it's not their fault, it's just nature, but hmm, I don't know, because it still has that a bit of a negative uh, kind of feeling, because they are all over the place though that represents over one very good, so yeah, I'm really trying not to, you know, go too much into details because I know how long these videos are, but hey, this is my way of bonding with the deck at first. Nine of Wands. The Ten of Wands. Hm. Carrying all those snakes can be hard, that's absolutely true. Sometimes you can't even see where to step. The Page of Wands. <laughs> a little explorer, the knight, the queen with blue flames, that's cool, and the king who's throwing down the flame, she has her hand up and he has his down. Okay, Ace of Cups. Oh, it's kind of, kind of similar. I don't mind, because these grabbing hands actually work, you know, uh, for signaling that, you know, it's an opportunity, but you have to grab it, and there might be others around you, and you have to work for it. Two of Cups. Oh, interesting. It gives more to me a Two of Pentacles feeling. But it does look like some sort of ritual. The tree. Well, you guys, if I don't like this, I'm going to, you know, mm, either give it away or sorry. <laughs> I can't do that. Three of Cups. I think my main problem with this deck right now is that it reminds me too much of the first deck that I learned tarot on, the Cousin Life Tarot, and that sim that deck's uh, minors especially doesn't work for me, symbology-wise and what the cards are representing. They are too different from the original system, which I didn't know back then because I learned that but they sometimes don't make sense to me, you know, I can't read them because the RWR, no, the RWS makes sense to me. So sometimes it's, well, I like this Five of Cups, though she doesn't look that sad. Uh, sometimes the changes, when they make sense to me, they, you know, I like them, but they have to make sense. Seven of Cups. Well, we'll see, we'll see. You'll get an update soon, so. Eight of Cups with a mermaid. Hmm. Did Kelly from <laughs> the Truth in Story made a voter of this yet? Or will she? Because I would love to hear her thoughts because she's so knowledgeable. The nine. Ten. Whoops. Mm, interesting. Where are you going? And the page. Mm, I 
I was just thinking that how you know you hear about decks like this one everyone's hide up, hyped up and then there's only a few walkthroughs and not a lot of long-term experience so I hope that people start, you know, sharing their long-term experience with the deck and the guidebook and everything because those are so valuable. So if you're still watching this and, you know, you have decks that you work with for a long time and you have an opinion and experience with them and you, you know, didn't think about sharing it for whatever reason because you think that only uh, new decks are interesting please consider, you know, sharing it in any form, even if it's a Facebook post or a blog post and, you know, if you can come back and tell me about it because I kind of don't like that they are all the same now because it feels kind of lazy. They can be similar, the aces, but I don't like it when they are exactly the same because they are not exactly the same. Two of Swords Oh, this one is good. Uh, hmm, interesting. Because, you know, it's uh, it's important to share knowledge and experience. And it doesn't mean if you share n anything that's, you know, critical or you tell that, hey, this doesn't didn't work for me. If you tell why it didn't work, other people can decide if that applies to them, uh, you know, too. She look she looks bored, doesn't she? <laughs> the five. I'm quite curious how the ten will look like. Six. See, for example, why is she naked? I don't need her to be naked. It doesn't nakedness doesn't always signal or I know it's my issue, it doesn't signal vulnerable vulnerability. That's harder to say. For me so I usually don't care for it. I understand that some people do. Oh, seven of swords, interesting. That's quite ballsy. The eight. What are we doing with the chicken, though? So, yeah, the white birds are the suits, right? Animal. Hmm. I wonder why her hands are like that. Because she doesn't look like she's that, you know, tired and couldn't sleep. Ah, uh, okay. I thought that would be, you know, something uh, different. The page. I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Happens. I'm really trying to go through this because I don't really uh, finding my way into the deck right now. But I'm going to go around and watch all the walkthroughs and I'm quite curious what other people, you know, said. I absolutely love the style. And I know I said it like a bunch of times, but For example, I don't know why. I mean, is it sort of like not to Odin with one blind eye, or is that eye seeing into something more than a current reality? Ace, the two. Oh, I like the colors, you know, that each minor suit has a color scheme. It's a slippery deck, but not horribly. I think the card stack is good, I mean, from the look of it. Oh, I like these greens, they're so pretty. Most of these uh, people have, um, you know, one eye blind. Five, so what I don't get when most of the cards are, you know, uh, sticking to the original system, but when they are uh, differing from it, like why? Why not all are, you know, 
even though you don't have to it's just you know my thing my question and you know if it's explained then I'm perfectly satisfied you know I'm not uh, here sitting on a high horse eight of pentacles interesting I'm just curious I think it's good to be curious about stuff like this nine I like her she looks cool ten of pentacles hmm The page, interesting. The night. The queen. And the king, and we have extra cards. Yes. We have the white Newman and the black Newman. So I don't know if they, uh, you know, these came or come, or games, comes, whatever, uh, with every edition I ordered from the side of the creator. So I also got this um, pouch with it, which I don't think I will use because I will keep it in the box so far, uh, for now, but it's, you know, cool stuff. And... Let's check what the white Newman and the black Newman is. Okay, so the black is void pending lost corrosion. So the dogs are more whatever, I don't know if they are just simple dogs, they are the Newmans. Face their own extinction. Wow, that's kind of like hard to things to do. Two branches upside down, just about to burn into the sacred fire. Ah, over there. The world is about to be spun upside down, and yet they still guard their altar, with, which drowns slowly into the depths. Hmm. So that's the black Newman, and the white is creation, starting point, divine inspiration. So it's not exactly, you know, the opposite. The God's Father runs free across the virgin earth's plains. God's father, okay. In apparent weightlessness, just like the vision, vision. How do you say that? Vision or vision? Or in a completely different way? Vision? No, that sounds stupid. In ancient cave paintings, it traverses the world, making sure it traverses, traverses the world, making sure that that all of creation is in order. <laughs> I like the bird. <laughs> It looks cool. That's a cool bird. So yeah, hmm, what do we think? I don't know yet. Was it as exciting as I hoped it would be, just based on, you know, the art style? Unfortunately not. But, you know, it's not the deck's fault and I think that the lesson, the biggest one is here to, you know, check your, your uh, deck before you buy it. <laughs> because it can happen that something that looks really cool won't work but we will see so yeah thank you so much for watching I think I'm going to finish it here for now and see you later when I work with the deck bye